A user frame has a 8 cm long sliding wire on the open side. It's dipped in a soap solution and placed horizontally. Now an unstretched spring with a spring constant of 0.4 newtons per meter, it has one end tied to a wall. We can see that over here and the other end is attached to the sliding wire. It is observed that the wire slides to the left, stretching the spring by 2 cm. So we can see that and then it comes to a stop. We need to figure out the surface tension of this soap solution. Alright, as always, pause the video and give this one a try first. Alright, let's get into this. Now let's think of a strategy. Well, we need to figure out the surface tension of this soap solution. One thing that we can recall, which is that the force per unit length on any one surface is equal to surface tension. So that's really the surface tension S that is equal to F divided by L. But this is actually a soap solution and soap solution has two surfaces, one and two. So the total force that is acting to the left on this, on the sliding wire is actually 2F. It's not just F, it's 2F. So if we write this in this way, F is, this is equal to SL. The total force acting to the left is really 2F or 2SL. That is the force acting to the left. So let's, let's mark that this, this right here, this is 2SL. Now the wire comes to a stop after a point of time, right? And anything that comes to a stop, the forces on it must be balanced. So let's try to figure out what all forces are acting on the sliding wire. Well, we already labeled one that is 2SL acting to the left. There's also a spring, right? So the spring is really pulling the wire to the right. It is pulling the wire to the right and these two forces are equal. We know that the force that the spring exerts, that's Kx, Hooke's law. We know K, which is 0.4 Newton per meter, that is the spring constant. And X over here is the extension, 2 centimeters. So when we balance this, when we write this in this way, 2SL, this is equal to KX. We can now figure out S, right? Because we know K, we know X, and we know L, the length of the sliding wire. So let's do that. This is S, that is equal to KX, divided by 2L. Substituting the values, K is 0 0.4 into X, which is 2 centimeters. So we need to change it to meters now and divided by length 0 0.08 meters so this goes this goes like this 4 and 0 0.4 divided by 4 that is 0 0.0.1 0 0.1 newton per meters